And we can also look at nature. Nature also consists of loads of molecular motors that are active in your body and active nanostructures that can do something. But of course, it's not technology. Nature is life. It's not technology, but it is an inspiration. For instance, you can have a look at the gecko. Has anybody ever seen a gecko? I have in Mexico, in Tulum, very nice. But geckos are basically lizards, but they have very, very small hairs on their feet and they can climb up to the ceiling without any effort. So if you take a very, very close look at these feet, they have little hairs and these hairs, they have even smaller hairs, go in smaller hairs. And then you get into what they call Sita and Spatula. One is one Sita and they have at the end a spatula. So this is really a nature paper from 2000 where they study structure of the feet of the gecko. And uh, you see that it is basically, it's roughly a diameter of 100 nanometers. So at the feet of the geckos, there's little, little hair type structures, but they're so small, they're 100 nanometer diameter. And they have a little flap at the, at the end. So with di this nanostructure is important for the gecko, how it climbs onto the wall without effort. And interestingly, their conclusion is that the gecko, it climbs with van der Waals forces. So there's no suction, there's no glue. He climbs with van der Waals forces. So they even connected such a hair to sort of an AFM probe and looked at all kinds of forces. The feet of the gecko are an inspiration from nature that we can maybe mimic. We can try to mimic the feet of the gecko by use, making gecko tape. And this is work from Mr. Geim. He got the Nobel Prize for making graphene. But before that time, he published this picture. So this is a... Uh, a polymer, I think it's an image, and he made little pillars on it somehow with some tricks. And it was the first example of a gecko tape. And indeed, this picture from uh, Spider Man hanging on the ceiling with, with gecko tape, it was from this uh, Nature Materials paper, but uh, it fell down after a couple of days. They, they, they stayed dead. But as far as I know, you can actually buy, well, something that's called gecko tape at the moment. And so the, the feet of the gecko were the inspiration for these kind of products. One of the last examples of nanostructures, functional nanostructures, nanotechnology, is the coating of the stealth airplane. So, well, the stealth of course, is of course an airplane from the Americans that cannot be seen by radar. And if you look into it, there's no actual publications, but you can find out that the coating of the stealth airplane, that it consists of carbon nanotubes, which have a metal dot on the top of the tube. So that is what they consist of. And of course, the stealth airplane is like a very large example of American supremacy. And this is basically, this is basically the similar structure. So this is from another paper just about making carbon nanotubes with metal on top. So basically the coating of the stealth airplane, it's also a tube with a diameter of about 100 nanometer, but it's made not from proteins or something like that, but from, it's a carbon nanotube. It's only made of carbon, but at the top there is a metal nanoparticle or a particle of metal is sitting there. So these kinds of structures, they are present in the coating of the stealth airplane, and that gives it the function of not being visible by the radar. It absorbs all the radar, it interacts with the radar. So another person who was very important for the development of nanotechnology, that's actually Bill Clinton. So he came up with National Nanotechnology Initiative in 2000. So he put a lot of money, research money, into developing nanotechnology. Well, probably he got a tour with the military and somebody told him that the coating of the stealth was a nanomaterial. To summarize, 
uh, nanotechnology is, uh, we want to create new functional materials that are different from the bulk. The organization size can be, well, between one and a hundred or a few hundred nanometers. Some examples are a microscopy techniques like STM, AFM, all kinds of scanning probe microscopy. A very important material is carbon nanotubes. And we, have, we can think about very small switching units. Uh, later in the course, we will also talk about smart coatings, like self-cleaning coatings, like the Lotus effect. Nanoparticles, nanoparticles are also used in medical imaging. We will also talk about, for instance, plastic optoelectronics, like like organic solar cell materials. Yeah, this is the chapters that are in the book that are related to this.